Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we're doing illustrative math, grade eight, unit two, lesson five, practice problems. Our first problem here says quadrilateral ABCD is dilated with the center zero, zero, the origin, taking point B to B prime. Okay, the origin is here, B is here, we could figure out exactly how far away that is, or just know that it is 3 over and 1 up to B, and 6 over and 2 up to B prime, so we have a scale factor of 2. A is 2 over and 3 up, so we have to double both of those, so 4 over and 6 up. C is 1, 1, double it, that will be 2, 2. D is 3 over 2 down, so we're going to go 6 over and 4 down. Beautiful. Dilated with a scale factor of 2. Okay, triangles B and C have been built by dilating triangle A. B and C come from dilating triangle A. Triangle B is a dilation of A with approximately what scale factor? That looks pretty good. B is a dilation of A. One, two, three, four, five, six lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 6 turned into 18, that looks like a scale factor of, what do we multiply 6 by to get 18? Scale factor of 3. A is a scale factor of B, or A is a dilation of B with what scale factor? Well, what do we do to turn 18 into 6? We have a scale factor of one third. Now, what about C? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. So that looks, looks like we're turning 28 into 18, so it should be approximately 28 over 18, which would be 14 over 9 you should get a scale factor that's approximately that. Okay, here is a triangle. Draw a dilation of triangle ABC with a center of the origin, zero, zero, and a scale factor of two. Label this ABC prime. So scale factor of two doubling everything. Point A is 4 
over and down two, so we're gonna be eight over and down four. Tells us to label these A, B, C prime, A prime, B is two, two, which will become four, four. C is two, two, which will become four, four. Okay, that was A. B, we want to do it center of zero, zero. Scale factor of one half. So A is four, two, which will become two, one. A double prime. B, two, two will become one, one. And C is 2, 2, which will also become 1, 1. Again, those are not actual point values. That's just how many units from our center of dilation we are. So that is... Did I miss a second prime on that one? Scale factor of 1 half. Scale factor of 2 made it... Larger scale factor of one half, it's less than one, it made it smaller, or it's between zero and one, so it made it smaller. Is A prime, B prime, or A double prime, B double prime, C double prime a dilation of A prime, B prime, C prime? Is this smaller blue one a dilation of this larger black one? this smaller blue one a dilation of this larger black one yes it is because all of those dilations are centered in the same place so what will the center of dilation be the origin What will the scale factor be? So it's, is the small one a dilation of the large one? So now we have to see what we scaled things by. Well, that was four, four, and it became one, four. What do you multiply four by to get one? It looks to me like we're gonna have a scale factor of one fourth. Let's check with A. 8, 1 fourth of 8 is 2, 4, 1 fourth of 4 is 1, scale factor is 1 fourth. So yes, it's a dilation, center 0, 0, scale factor 1 fourth. Okay, one more problem here. Make that a little bigger so it's easier to read. Triangle DEF is a right triangle. So we have a right triangle. I'll just sketch out a right triangle real quick. Angle D is 28 degrees. The only one on here that looks like it could be about 28 is this. I'll label it. Call that D. What are the measures of the other two angles? Well, one of them, it's a right triangle, so one of them is 90 degrees. And the other one, these have to have a sum of 180 degrees. 180 subtract this 90 is 90, subtract another 28. So our other angle has to be 28 degrees less than 90, which is 62. Because 62 plus 28 plus 90 will give us a 180 degree angle sum, which is the sum of all the angles of a triangle. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thanks for watching. See you next time.